Good morning, guys. All right, so this week for reading, we're going to be reading a new book. We're going to read this book all week, and we're going to continue learning about the gingerbread man for the month of December. Remember, starting tomorrow, we're getting a new month, and the new month will be December. So for the month of December, we're going to be reading about the gingerbread man. And so this week, we're going to read the original gingerbread man. And so I'm going to show you, I'm going to say it out loud, and I'm going to show you the words, the gingerbread man. And that is the title of our book. The gingerbread man is the title of our book. And so this book is being told by Jim Aylesworth. And I didn't say he's the author because he's not the author. The Gingerbread Man is a folk tale. So that means people used to tell each other these stories verbally. It wasn't a written down story. It was a story that was told from person to person. And so when we read this book, it doesn't have an author but it's retold by, so the guy that wrote the words in this book, but he didn't make up the story, his name is Jim Aylesworth. And so this week when we're trying to find the author, we can still give him credit because he did write down the words that are on the pages we're going to read this week. So remember, the gingerbread man is our title and Jim Aylesworth is our author he wrote down the words but he did not make up these words and so when we read this book we're going to need to know some words and these words are going to be so important when we're reading the gingerbread man the first word is mm, what is that word can someone tell me what that word is yeah we can look at our pictures maybe that'll give us a clue and we know it starts with the r, r, and ends with the n, n. Look at the pictures. That's right. It's the word run. Run. And what is run? I know we can all do it, but what is it? That's right. It's the act of moving fast. I've got some very fast friends in my class. They are very good runners. So we can say the word run, like we're doing it right now, or we can say ran. Ran means we did it before. So that's a very important word. We need to recognize this word, run, and what it means. It means to run, to move fast. And we can look at these pictures to help us get a good visual. The next word is come, come. I kind of gave you that one. I'm sorry I didn't give you the chance to read it to me, but it's one of those tricky words. That's why it's one of our sight words because it's super tricky. We couldn't have sounded that one out. This word is come and it means to move closer to the person speaking. So come means to move closer. And we practice that in class sometimes. I'll say, hey, Peter, come, come here, and you won't come, right? Because we have to listen. We have to be good listeners. So the word come, or to move closer, I think we sign it this way, come, that's going to be in our book, and we need to recognize this word. It's come, and it starts with a funny letter. What letter is that? Right, that's a C. And if you all can remember, C is our letter of the week this week. So we know if we see a word that starts with the C and ends with the E and has an O and the M in the middle, that's the word come. Our last vocabulary word for the week is catch. Look at these little boys. They are catching balls in that grown man. He is catching a ball, right? And to catch 
means to stop or hold. I think we have some good catchers in our class, right? So these are some words that we are going to need to know when we are reading our story. So for the rest of this assignment, I need you guys to find these vocab words because they're so important. So like on this page, we have a bear, run, come, and boots. But I don't know what our vocab word is. So we have to look and it says find the word and then there's a little thing right there. And we just hit it. Run. Oh, so it said find the word run. Which word is the word run? Is it this one? No, that's a bear. Is it this one? That's right. That is run. So I need you all to just move the circle to run and show me you heard the word. So make sure you click the word, the little microphone right by the words. Find the word so you can find the word. All right, guys. Have a good day.